Nymex Automation Solution Video Series Customer Installations Examples of, in fact, our boards for OE working and getting benefit in terms of organizations and structures. If we look carefully, there are many typical customers utilizing this technology out in the market today. Uh, examples here in terms of the icons and graphics of companies that are, in fact, using the particular OE technology today. In the aerospace sector, um, AeroDevTech has adopted the Memex OE plus DNC total solution across all their plants and all their uh, full enterprise, which is, spans uh, completely North America, USA, Mexico, and Canada in terms of all their facilities and plants. Uh, a major aerospace supplying manufacturing company as well, Goodrich Aerospace, Messi Dowdy, have these installations of Memex installed. Examples here are very important to look at. If we address here the machine uh, from Makino Pro 5 base control with the Fennec 3110 uh, I control, using in this particular case, we're seeing the AX750 IO link connected with the universal machine interface from Memex Automation. What we've done is we've disconnected the IO link from the actual control itself, plugged it into the IO link of the Fennec uh, of the Memex AX750 I.O. link, plug back a patch cable that Memex supplies, put that back into the I.O. link so it's all plug compatible, take the particular signals from here that we have extracted after setting the dip switches, put them into the universal machine interface, take the physical wires such as power and other particular signals that we may want from the actual control cable itself, plug it through the board, condition it on the board, remember the AX config, configurable adapter, and well as we're attaching here to the Ethernet cables to plug into our network for dashboard reporting and overall interface to our particular company network. And we see here it's on magnetic mount inside the cabinet, closed up, easy to work with, operator interface to enter in downtime reason codes, reject reason codes, idle time, and so forth. Next installation here is an example with the Universal Machine Interface with the AX650 board on a Toshiba VBM Tosnok 888 control. And we can see we're pulling the ribbon cable directly from the actual machine, plug it into the board here, extract those signals, put them into the board here, and away we're done. Easy to install, inside the cabinet, magnetic mount, not a trouble whatsoever. In this particular case, we're in a furniture, com furniture manufacturing company installed inside the cabinet with a universal machine interface. You can see it operating here. Digital pilot lights telling which signals are working and when and where, plugged into the Ethernet cable and working. Uh, it's all inside the panel. Operator interface is right there. Easy to work with. The operator can handle things. Bigger picture in this particular case. We saw an increase of 25% of productivity on this machine because we're actually tracking um, downtime reason codes, downtimes, and even interface times such as within 10 seconds for each particular piece loaded on the conveyor belt. In this particular case, we're installed inside a Mori Seiki lathe with an AX9150 UMI, and in, because it was a twin turret lathe, we actually, in fact, had two AX750 boards uh, connected each to the control. Again, compactly mounted, easily put together inside the control, operator interface, easy to access and work with. In this particular case, Fennec 18 control, you can see the control cabinets folded down, wires and cables are still connected here, all magnetically mount inside the control, easy to work with, put together and deal with. In this particular case, we're in a panel saw, and we can see it's an AX7950 universal machine interface, and we're extracting signals in this particular case directly from the control bus of the particular machine picking up those signals, reporting on them as to the actual state of the machine and how it's running. And in this particular example, we're in a FANUC 18i, and we've got uh, connections here with the AX750, AX9150 universal machine interface, very compact installation, easily works and runs. In this particular case, a Mazak 640M Matsura milling machine, with also in the AX9150 universal machine interface connected and wired directly in through the cables to the making sure it picked up the right signals and it was operating.
So we can see it's easy to actually install, operate compactly, unobtrusive, away from the operator, away from the regular manufacturing. It's fully controlled inside the cabinet with the rest of the electronics and the equipment.